Long before Sandy Hook and Columbine, a Rhode Island 15-year-old was the victim of schoolyard gunfire. And tonight, 25 years later, he's talking about it. Eyewitness News reporter Walt Buto has more in this week's Street Story. It was a different time, but a sadly familiar end to what started with a shove in the hallway. It was February 1988 at Bristol High School when a dispute ended with one 15-year-old in a stretcher and a second teen in cuffs. You're a star. From point-blank range, a 22 caliber bullet hit Steve Bernard in the head and left him with what doctors said was a 1% chance to survive. Ooh, for the beginning of next year, Ooh, not easy. But I beat all the odds. I mean, I was told I wouldn't drive. So I wouldn't walk again. Yeah. Never do anything, they told me. Yeah, just like it. With his daughter, Sarah, who he calls his world sitting next to us. It's important. That Bernard sat down and opened up about that winter day that changed his life. Before the 14 hours of surgery and 10 months in the hospital, there was pushing and shoving. The gunman called Bernard a few names, and he admits, as a star athlete, he decided he had to bully back. And I kind of got a rush out of all the kids saying, oh, go beat up Vinny today, you know? Then on that snowy winter day, the other teen came to school with a gun. I remember looking on that barrel, moments later being on the floor, shaking, my body was shaking, I could feel it. I remember him pointing it, saying, hey, you blew Vinny up bluffing, and then someone kicked your ass so bad, you couldn't even throw the first shot. Since then, Bernard says his frustration mounts with every gunshot that takes a young life. When Aeneas Vargas was shot to death at a graduation party last month, it was especially painful. I had a tear in my eyes. His little girl was at a party. And something, I mean, she's gotten shot, and, she, and her life is over. And how many others have we seen just in Providence alone? Bernard turned his experience into a presentation he calls Silence Hurts. One common question he gets is about revenge. I asked that to the kids, and I saw walking down the aisles in the auditorium. Would that change my leg? Would my arm come back if I get revenge? Bernard's talked to thousands of students over the years, but he wants to talk to more to help them avoid what happened to him. Find out more by logging onto our website and searching Street Stories. Walt Duteau, Eyewitness News.